Hey guys, it's Athena, and I want to talk about the live wedding painter who went viral for how bad her art was. This painting got a ton of somewhat mean comments, some funny, like Michael Scott's wedding painting for Jim and Pam. So I didn't know what the Michael Scott painting looked like, but after um, searching it up, that's kind of a violation. Um, some of them are more sarcastic, being like, oh, that's definitely paint. That is a painting. That's paint on a painting. It's uh, something. One straight up calls it crap, says it's not worth the money. A lot talk about the price and how it's not worth it. And someone commented something I pray I never get, but I feel better about my own art skills after watching this. I don't know about you guys, but if my art went viral for being bad, I would actually be bawling my eyes out in some dark corner. So the main issues people have with this painting is how amateurish it looks for how much it was. You can tell this painting isn't... The best quality, it's 20 inch by 24 inch. That's not huge. It's not small, but it's it's it's, it's like medium size. And if I paid $950 for a painting, I would probably want it to be a tiny bit bigger or more skilled. As an artist myself, I charge very little for my own art. So I can't really say about pricing wise. I that's not really my forte. By the way, guys, check out my Fiverr. I am on Fiverr now. I'm selling realism portraits, line art portraits, sketches. Go check me out. My prices are pretty low. So yeah. Anyway, back to the subject. To her credit, Reagan knows that she's a beginner. And her prices are cheaper than the average wedding painter. However, some people think that she shouldn't be offering the service at all because she knows that she's a beginner. Especially for $950. Now, I'm not really a beginner artist, but even if I painted a live wedding, I would probably... Since it would be my first time, I would probably say 200 and that might be just putting my pricing too low, but I feel like that kind of painting is what you build up. You build up your prices. When you're a beginner, you start super cheap. And even if it's under the average, if your painting isn't worth that much, you should make your prices fit accordingly. And as you get better, you raise your prices. This is what a lot of photographers and actors do as well. Reagan is definitely not a very experienced artist. If you can't make a good painting in a short amount of time, or if your paintings aren't that good, then you shouldn't offer a wedding service. People on the internet take weddings very seriously. Every single week, there's new wedding drama that's going on, friendships being ruined, bridezillas, mom, mother-in-law zillas. It's everywhere. Anyway, my point is, weddings get taken seriously. So a lot of people were upset of how much it cost. And it feels like they kind of felt sorry for the bride or like scammed in the bride's place. But you guys do have to realize the bride saw the portfolio. The same kind of art is on this woman's portfolio. She could have been like, oh, yeah, that's not worth the price. But she went ahead and still booked this painter. Also, Reagan did post a video saying that she doesn't post anything the bride isn't happy with. So it could be very true that maybe the bride likes this style of painting or she was really happy with it. So if that's true, then we really can't say anything because we weren't the ones paying for the painting. 
the only thing that matters is the bride's opinion. Also, as an artist, um, if I paint something that I absolutely hate or I think is bad, my non-artist friends will always be really impressed and shocked. And I'm over here thinking it's hot garbage and they think it's really good. Like, I could show you an example of a painting. I just painted this, you know. And my other two friends, they are artists, but they're not. But they are, if that makes sense. And I, I don't really like it. Um, They told me I need to finish it. I don't really want to. Maybe I will. It doesn't really look like the reference. That's why. I'm not really a painter. I'm more of a digital artist and watercolor. Or watercolor? Watercolor user? Basically, finishing thoughts are, the bride saw the portfolio, she was the one paying for it, she was the one who decided to book someone this expensive with that skill level, and if she isn't happy with the final outcome, then that's on her. It seems like people on the internet are more upset about the pricing and the final result than the bride is. It seemed like the bride was happy with the painting. So, at the end of the day, there's nothing we can do about it, other than if we don't like that type of style, to not purchase a live wedding painting from this person. And that's completely fine. Everyone has their different preferences. I do feel bad for Reagan, and I feel bad for her, because art is always something you can improve. And it would be better if people encouraged her instead of hating on her art and calling it trash or whatever they're calling it to instead encourage her to get better before selling live wedding paintings. Anyway, that's just my two cents on the matter. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. Would you buy a painting from this wedding painter? Be sure to subscribe, like the video, hit that notification bell if you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Check out my Fiverr.